Hey, what's going on guys? Glock9 here and welcome back to Horde Every Night in Ghost Town. It is the morning of day 9 and we are hitting the road this morning. We're going to cruise up this way to the treasure chest that is marked on the map. It is right over here and that is a quest line for the trader up north. And we have to go up there anyway to make more cement. So that's the plan is we're going to head to the chest, hopefully dig it up in a reasonable amount of time, get up to the trader cash in our, you know, for our reward, uh, see what his inventory looks like, obviously get cement moving in the mixer, and we're gonna have some time to kill, so we can chop down trees, break up a bunch of stones, we need the iron, in terms of wood, I chopped down a bunch of trees last night, and I made 59 spikes, so we got a good amount of spikes on us already, but we can always use more, and always use more wood, so that's the game plan, treasure chest, trader, concrete, harvesting resources, and then back to Ghost Town, and we'll continue working on the gallows. Okay, we are in the vicinity. There are some zombies around, so we need to be careful. We're going to try and get centered over this icon as best as possible, then we'll just start digging down. It sucks that we're on a slope again. Digging on a slope is not the, you know, on flatlands it's easy. You just dig down one block, open that hole up, and then go down one more. Because usually the treasure chests are supposed to be two blocks down. I don't know if they changed that or not, because we couldn't fucking find the first one we tried to dig up. Now we have the lucky goggles, so hopefully that makes it a little bit easier and we're successful this time. There we go, Let's see what we got here. Nice, level two shotgun, some ammo, vitamins. What do vitamins help out with again? Uh, strength, fortitude, agility, healing, stamina. Yeah, let's just eat them, who cares, right? Maybe that'll give us the energy we need to dig up this chest. There we go, finally, starting to get worried. See what we got here, food, water, and of course the trader supplies, which we need to go bring him to get our reward. That seems to be deeper than two blocks, but it's hard to tell because of the way the ground slopes. Anyway, let's get to the trader, get some concrete moving, see what our reward is, and maybe do some shopping there, and uh, we'll kill some time while the concrete's uh, smelting down. Are we going the right way? Yeah. Well, we're going a different way. We're going to have to cut through Dyersville. Um, but yeah, as the concrete is uh, not smelting, but mixing, we will uh, break up some stone, chop down some trees, maybe do some hunting if we spot any animals. Okay, here we are. Now again, let's go right for the concrete mixer. Come on, close. This way we can grab the concrete that we uh, left behind yesterday and get more of it cooking. Here we go. Uh, concrete, 300, that's beautiful. Okay, I don't know if we'll be around to collect all of that, but we'll get as much as we can. I wanna be able to at least get the bottom of the gallows to be all reinforced concrete. So this is it, herbal antibiotics or level one leather leg armor. We're gonna take the antibiotics. And we're also gonna get some coin for that too. So let's see if there's anything worth buying. I think we just go 762 ammo again. 71 rounds, we can buy all of them. Might as well. Leaves us a little bit of coin left over, which we'll just add to our stack back at the, uh, back at Ghost Town. He's got another buried supplies quest line. Let's look at that and see where it's at on the map. It looks just like where the other one was. Um, not too far away from it, but uh, definitely not something we're going to get to today. We'll leave it on the map for now. Maybe we'll go do that another time. Uh, let's see. The mixer. Where are we at? We got a ways to go. So, like I said, let's go harvest some resources, kind of hang around for a little bit, and then we'll grab whatever we can from the mixer before we leave. I'm definitely not going to hang around for ten minutes, but maybe five. This way we can get at least a hundred or so more pieces of concrete, that should be enough to at least, like I said, finish upgrading the support beams of the gallows twice, so we'll have reinforced concrete there. Oops. 
Okay, not quite 100 pieces like I was hoping for, but that gives us a total of over 200, which should be enough to get done what we want to get done, and we'll leave the rest to continue mixing. All right, let's go unload and then we'll see what we can get done with this concrete. We'll lay down the spikes that we have and we'll see what it looks like. We'll probably have to craft more spikes. If we have some free time, I would like to kind of pick a random spot and dig down and see if we can run into uh, hopefully iron or uh, oil shale or who knows what else. Because um, apparently I guess there are mineral deposits deep in the sand and you just got to be lucky and find them. Um, someone tweeted at me a location of a mine underneath ghost town but i went into um like a test world and dug down and there was nothing there so i think even though navis gain all the pois and all that shit's the same loot is always random and i'm pretty sure minerals under the ground are are random as well so the first thing we're going to do is uh repair all of the poles at eye level and then we're going to upgrade all of them which will turn them into reinforced concrete and then with whatever we have left we'll work on upgrading the uh, poles at the bottom which hopefully should at least get them to uh, well some of them are already concrete so let's do this and now let's go ahead and uh, get these from iron to concrete and then we might as well upgrade these to reinforced do we have enough? yeah okay that looks good um, what about this support beam here? Oh shit, we have no iron. We better go cook some of that out of the forge. Well, we got a supply drop coming in. Let's lay these spikes down here. We'll take a look at where that's at. I'm sure it's close by somewhere. There we go. Uh, where is it? Oh, there it is. Oh, real close. Okay. We'll go grab that in a minute. Let's just finish laying down these spikes here. Still got to go cook that iron out of the forge so we can do some uh, additional repairs. Um, the jail looks pretty good. There might be a little bit of cobblestone that could be repaired. Uh, we're, we're definitely losing... <laughs> the barbed wire fences have stuck around longer than I thought they would, but we're definitely <clears throat> losing those. So we may want to start making more of those at some point. It's just that, you know, they cost iron too, as well as wood. And, uh, man, iron has proven to be one of the... Uh, biggest hardships here in, in just surviving in Ghost Town and uh, that's why I want to spend a little bit of time today kind of randomly digging and with my fingers crossed that we run into some uh, iron deposits underground. Here we are, that was a quick and easy ride. Okay, food and honey, we'll take it. And while we're here in the burnt forest, let's cruise around to these rundown areas right here. See if we can find anything good. Alright, we got everything out of here, right? Yeah. Okay. OCD makes me always double check the bike inventory. Okay, the iron is still cooking out. Let's go ahead and get some arrowheads moving. Probably like a hundred this time. And then, you know what? Let's just cancel the iron. That's good. I think that's enough. Put some more fuel in there so the arrowheads keep going. There we go. Take this iron out of here. And uh, what else? I think that's good. Let's go get that support beam upgraded and see if there's any other iron stuff that needs to be repaired. Okay, that's it for the iron. Maybe we'll get some more out of the forge. We'll see. I don't want to use too much of it. 
We definitely need more wood so we can make more spikes, though. So let's go grab some of that. Well, we just sustained some life. Now let's end some of it. Oh, <laughs> I literally knocked her on her ass. She was just sitting there. Uh, let's grab some of this aloe. I've been slacking on collecting it just because we got a good amount of first aid bandages, and we really haven't had to use them other than last night we had to use one, but... That's because we got, uh, we made a stupid mistake. Forgot to load our pistol before we jumped down into the crowd. We've got some extra time here, so let's do some digging in random spots. Go down about 10 to 15 blocks and see if we can find some iron deposits or possibly oil shale. Damn it, not much going on down here. We'll try and open the hole up a little bit, see if we can find anything. And if not, then we'll we'll pull our way out of here and we'll try another location. And worst case scenario, we're at least getting stone and sand out of the deal, which we're going to need to make more uh, concrete anyway. All right, here looks like as good of a place as any, so let's try that again. Ooh, that looks like something. Yeah, it is. What is that, just stone? Let's open this up here. Have a look. Come on, what the fuck is going on here? There we go. Okay, what do we got here? Nitrate? Yeah, that's what I thought. I mean, that's okay. I'll take it. I mean, if we were crafting our own ammo, this would be great. But we're not there yet. At this point in the game, I would have been more excited to see a patch of iron down here. But hey, at least we got something. Okay, we're all ready for the horde. I was debating on taking the AK with me again tonight, but decided not to. We'll hold off on that. You know, we, we still got plenty of rounds for the Magnum, and if a cop shows up tonight, that's going to be more than enough to deal with him. Let's lay down these spikes and uh, probably go get some more wood, because we may have to make even more than what we have here. Uh, we've got 16 Molotovs on us, so we're definitely going to have to make more of those tomorrow. We can go around with the wrench, even though our wrench is almost dead. So we need steel to be able to repair that, or we need to find a better wrench. But we can use whatever life is left in that thing to take apart cars and get a little bit of oil that way. We can try our hand at digging uh, tunnels again tomorrow and hopefully come across oil shell. And, you know, I was thinking tomorrow, it being day 10, we probably should stay at the gallows and be safe so we can legitimately beat uh, the first series in terms of how long we can hold out because we died on day 10 last time um, However, I'm also thinking that it might be fun to start holding down other buildings and See how long they can last and if they all get taken out Then we'll just have the jail the gallows and our home left and that's it And the rest of the town will just be rubble because that was my initial thought for this series was that We'll hold down each building until it's destroyed and when we're done there won't be any town left but the way we're doing it with the gallows, I don't know. I think it's going to hold up for quite a while as long as we keep this grind going. So my, my idea is tonight we're going to play it safe and we're going to hold down the gallows. But maybe tomorrow during the day we'll spend the majority of the time getting the gallows back up to speed. And then we'll just hold down maybe the pills place. You know, pretty much unfortified. And see if the horde can take that whole place down. And if they do, we can either fight them on foot, or we can retreat to the gallows and finish them off there. You know, and then the next day we'll try the church, and so on and so forth, until this entire town is gone. That might be a good way to kind of ride out this series.
All right, let's see if that does a better job at attracting the zombies. Now it is two blocks away and one block down. I do not think the zombies can make that jump, but hopefully it attracts them to, to try at least, you know? Because uh, last night, this didn't do shit, so we'll see. One block closer, see if it makes a difference. All right, let's go eat something to get our stamina filled back up. And let's grab some yucca juice, too, to help us from overheating tonight. All right, here we go. The initial wave always comes in in a group uh, that winds up, like, kind of bunching together. Which is the perfect time to use a Molotov, so we'll probably get one going here in a second once they all hit the spikes. She dead. There's only a few of them right here. Let's uh, wait till some more show up. Here we go. That's a good amount. Come on, guys. Get in here. Let's go. There we go. Beautiful. All right. Look at that. Didn't even set ourselves on fire. How do you like that? It's a new Glock 9. It's a new day. Oh, I just heard a loot bag already, dude. Is it going to start again tonight? I mean, the loot bags are going to be the death of me. It's like dangling a carrot in front of my face. You know I'm going to go for that shit. Well, this one's still surrounded by spikes. And then we got another one right here. I thought I heard two drop before. So, uh, you know, this is the beginning of the horde, though. So, you know, our only options at this point would be to uh, jump down and do what we did last night. Run them around the buildings and then come back here, you know, hopefully have a good lead on them so we have enough time to loot these things and then make our way back up to the gallows. Look, here we go. Are they going to jump? Oh, there's a spider zombie. And a dog. Oh, shit. I hope this dog doesn't get up here. Let's take him out. Come on. Oh, look Look at this, man. They're definitely more attracted to that than they were uh, last night. I want this loot bag. Let's just go, right? Let's just do it. Fuck it. Come on. Got it. I'm not even sure what it was. I got caught up on the barbed wire. Let's. I'm not going for the other one yet. Let's just get back up and around. And then maybe we'll uh, try that again for the other loot bag. All right, same thing. They're just beating on the wall of the jail when I run through that um, little tunnel we made. So that's good. Not a big deal, man. Let them beat on that wall for a little bit. Get some fire down there. The horde has really thinned out, but I'm expecting another wave to show up. It's still pretty early. Um, I don't know if we're going to be able to get that other loot bag, even though we really should, right? Like I said in the last video, no loot bags left behind, man. We got to go for it. We got those, we got some steel gloves out of the last one, level two. We might end up using those, I don't know. We'll see. There's another spider zombie, let's kill his ass real fast. Oh, good night. And uh, no cops yet. Still a bunch of standard zombies. Man, that thing is definitely attracting them a lot more tonight. But none of them are trying to jump over to where I am. I mean, whatever. That's exactly what I want them to do. I don't want them to try and get to me. I just want them to congregate together somewhere to, to make easy targets. That loot bag is still there. It's still there. I'm, like, uh, thinking it's going to despawn. But it's still there, and this horde has definitely thinned out. All right, we got to go for it, right? The things we do for loot. All right, let's reload before we jump down there. Not do the same dumb shit we did last night. Here we go. Come on, guys. Come this way. Oh, back up. We only got a few left. Not a big deal. I just want to get them away from the gallows. Give us some time to run over there and get that bag. Here we go. This should be fine. We got it. Yes, here we go. Ours. Nothing... Too great. I saw a sledgehammer and I saw crossbow bolts, which we'll just scrap for the iron. People have asked me why I don't use a crossbow, and I don't know. I used to use one all the time. Oh, look at that. Dude, there's some... There are some... There were just some spots on the ground there that looked like gravel. You think... Uh, see, like, right there. I just I just ran over one. People were saying where there's gravel, there's usually um, something underneath it that you can mine. Come on. She's dead. All right. Horde is done. So we might have to check those areas out, either tonight or tomorrow. Dig down there, see if we can find some oil or some iron. But anyway, about the crossbow, yeah, I don't know. 
Uh, I like the crossbow. It, it's it's tough to use in Alpha 17, though, until you can continue to upgrade the perk because it takes forever to reload when you're still a low level. So crossbow really in Alpha 17, in my mind anyway, is more of a later end game weapon because it is powerful as fuck. It's definitely more powerful than the crossbow. I mean, than the, uh, than the compound bow. Okay, that is it. Another pretty good night. Not much damage taken. It's going to be easy to repair. We just got to make a shit ton more spikes. We need to head up to the trader up north and get more concrete to do some repairs there. And that'll really be it. I want to dig down into the ground over those gravel spots and see if we can find some stuff to mine. And, and then, uh, yeah, we'll get this place all set up and ready. And then, like I said, tomorrow night, we'll just head down the road and pick one of those buildings. We'll do some things like knock the steps out, make it so they can't get up to where we are. And then we'll just mess around tomorrow night and uh, do some stupid shit. And if they knock down whatever building we're in, we'll just retreat back to the gallows and we'll be fine. It'll make it more interesting and uh, change it up a little bit. So guys, hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you're enjoying this series. Thank you so much for watching and all of the support. It really does mean a lot. If you're not already subscribed and you'd like to, that would be awesome. It really does help out the channel. You can also follow me on Instagram or Twitter. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more Horde every night in Ghost Town, and I will catch you guys in the next episode.